Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nessa and I'm back with another DIY video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these nails. I wasn't sure how this set was going to turn out guys, but it came out really great and I want to share all my tips and tricks with you. Not only am I sharing my tips and tricks with you, but I'm also saving you guys about $30 to $60 a month just by doing your nails at home, okay? Alrighty guys, so just make sure that when you hear something that you like and you would like to try it yourself, just go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like these, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any feedback for me, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section down below. Everything will be linked down in the description box. And please make sure you go ahead and click one of those links if you need anything. Alrighty? Alright guys, so right here, I'm just showing you guys the tools that I am using. I am using my mason jar filled with all of my tools. I got my... My clipper in here, I have my cuticle pusher in here, I have my brushes, my nail files, my everything. I'm using a pack of nails. I'm going to list it down below. I am using this base gel coat. I'm using this powder gel. It's in black. Uh, I'm using a top coat. I did not use this in the video, but in case you want to use it, you can. I'm also using glue diamond gel so this you're gonna have to put it under the uv lights which i have i got from amazon as well but it helps to hold the diamonds in place i have a buffer just in case we need to use it and some nail glue that i got from face values guys face values is such a great place to go i'm also using this protein bond and these little gems that i got from amazon as well this is my cuticle remover got this on amazon as well and my uv gel light so what i'm doing here guys is i'm just taking a little piece of tissue paper and i'm going ahead and i'm just cleaning my cuticles with the cuticle remover and then i'm taking my cuticle pusher and i'm taking the pointy side and i'm pushing back my cuticles and then i'm scraping it off so the pusher part doesn't really come in handy, but sometimes it does help in case you have like excess cuticles that you just want to remove. But I then take the clippers and I clip it all away and everything is good. It looks good after that. Before we get the nails started, guys, I went ahead and I just buffed the top of my nails. You could do this with a buffer or you could do it with a nail file. I like to use a nail file because I get more precision, I guess, with it, but it it's it's so much better for me so what happens is the glue needs a nice base to stick on so we we're gonna need to file our nails down in order to get like a nice surface so it could stay so now guys like they do at the nail salon i'm just gonna go ahead and find the perfect size nails for my nail okay so there was some times in the nail part that i kind of just um i wanted to take out the nails but it was a little too late and i was like you know what i'm the queen of fixing it you guys know i'm the queen of fixing it so anyway i was like whatever um i left it alone and you already know what time it is baby when you got these nails on you a bad bitch ain't nobody want to talk to me what nails click 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 bitch. so this is one tip that i really love because i actually kind of taught myself i didn't really like go out and buy the particular tool that needed kind of just used my clippers and I went ahead and I cut my nails to the length that I wanted it to be. So first what I would do is I would cut the top and then I would flip my nail over and under and then I would cut underneath so that way like I could just twist it off because most of the nails what happens is they do have like a twist off top so you could just like twist it off and then you'll just have your, your tip right. So now i just decided to do something similar to that because i can always so this is another tip that i kind of taught myself and i wanted to really emphasize this for you guys when you guys start doing your nails at home because it is a technique that i haven't done before and i'll give you a review on how it is after but file your nail down when you put it on so the fake tip has to be equivalent to your nails so that way it stays just a little longer 
so right here I decided to use protein bond I kind of used the wrong one I was supposed to use the nail dehydrator but protein bond works the same anyway it really doesn't matter it's just gonna protect your nail then you guys all know how this goes we take the base coat we put it on our nails we dip our nails in the powder and then we continue the process so what I did here was I used a brush so what I did was I did my first set of dips and then I brushed it off when everything was completely dry and then I went ahead and did another coat because that way your glue brush will not get a lot of gel powder do you understand where I'm coming from like it won't be clumpy and lumpy and you won't have to clean it all the time I did about four coats of powder and I think it's great when you do your nails at home because you know how you would like your nails done. So if you want that extra top coat, sis, put that extra. So guys, I really think this part is the most necessary part. File your nails. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just filing it down so it's nice and smooth. What I'm doing is I'm taking a small nail file and I'm just going around the edges to kind of get like a nice smooth edge around the nails. And then I'm going ahead and I'm taking a bigger nail file, which is my 100 grit nail file. And I'm filing it down completely until it's nice and smooth. So right here, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this product either. But again, it will be in the description box down below. It is a nail file, an electric nail file that I got off of Amazon. And I'm just using it to go ahead and smooth out my edges even more. And then I'm going ahead and smoothing out the nails again. And I only use one tip. That's it. That's all you need, honestly here guys i don't think i recorded this part but i put the activator on that i got in the kit with the powder gel and i kind of just used that instead of using my top coat which was number three this was number two because i just wanted a matte finish and the matte finish came from the activator so i kind of just left it alone and i went ahead and started adding my jewelry and again guys i used that diamond gel and i stuck it under the uv light for about two minutes and i just kind of let it dry because these nails need to be dry the gel the gems need to stick on there for a really long time basically i really liked how the finished product turned out i think it came out so so cute and i just really had to show you guys this video so i really hope you guys liked it please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next